Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. In the last episode, we actually went through the entire Eldberg questline, the, the Phantom of Eldberg. And it was actually pretty great. It was actually, I was super impressed. It wasn't just uh, coming to this aisle covered in mist. Relighting the uh, lighthouse. And uncovering... A corrupt lighthouse keeper. <laughs> but it also, I mean, basically got us wrapped up in uh, in a murder in self-defense and jail time. It's crazy. Obviously, we're not in jail because we basically, uh, we made a deal with the Jarl, Madman, uh, who we met at the... Uh, at the wake, actually, briefly. Not very long. But we talked to him. And so he needs help getting his kid back. He went to this place called the Cave of Dreams. Which sounds magical, but also ominous because he said nobody ever comes back from there. So that's terrifying. So we're going to help him out. And then that, that basically... We're square, then. <laughs> um, but before that, before we do that, they want to go do this Pearls of the Coast quest, which we have to go down and dig, but... Is he here? How are you doing? Thank you. If it weren't for you, I'd have died of hunger or fear. Thank you. Yep. If it weren't for you... Alright, I just want to make sure, you know, he isn't staying on the up and up, you know? Oh my god, is that a bear? What the fuck, is that a bear? Okay, it's huge. Um. Okay. Alright, Geralt. Just be cool, man. Just be cool. <sighs> okay, cool. I was like, yeah. Trust nothing. Alright, so, if it is a bear, that means we need the beast oil. And we did a quick meditation just to get everything back. Now, alright. Enhanced beast oil. Then, pretty much, this is just a, it's just a good... You, you guys were really right. Like, seriously. This is such a go-to decoction. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just good to have. You know? And... Yeah, this combined with Quen, it's like, oh my god. We are, we are nigh untouchable. Where's this bear? I'll fight it. Fight it with my bear sword. Sorry, bear. Yay, 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 yay. I feel bad. That was a cool looking bear. I was an old boy, too. Raw meat monster brain, white bear hide. Be at peace. Sahelu. Alright. Where the hell... Damn, look at all these ships. Which I'm pretty sure are all the ones that he fucking crashed. Now that I see it. Because approaching it, I was like, wow, the lighthouse has been out. All these ships are crashing, it's terrible. Only to then find out it was all on purpose. Terrible person. So... Looking at the wrecks again, knowing, wow, these were all incredibly avoidable. <laughs> that guy wasn't such a piece of shit. I need some buckthorn. It smells awful. I smell it miles away. <laughs> At least a griffin can. But let's go see if we can't find this treasure. 
Pearls of the Coast. Speaking of treasure, we also got to do some treasure hunting soon. Oh! I am surprised the water is as clear as it is. I don't know if that's normal out here. Okay, where are you? Oh! That's a person. Okay, took your money. Oh, what is this? Ooh, Enus. Minus? Spikarug Longsword? Nice. Is there anything else? No. Alright. Hell yeah. Nice. It's going. Eh. Okay, I guess we can't get out this. Alright, we'll go out this way. It's all these all these damn this damn wreckage. Okay. What is that sword we just got? Is it good? Ah, not. It looks cool. That's okay. We, got, we already got cool swords, so, you know, it's cool. Um, that's right, we needed Buckthorn for this. Hell yeah. I love... Of getting all the potions and the decoctions and everything. Just need some more lesser red mutagens. Which I don't think I can craft. Right? Can I? No, I just need... Okay. Got it. Got it. I see. Now... Let's do, before we go to the Cave of Dreams and these ones, uh, we have to bring back the Stolen Horn, which we found, by the way. Uh, not that one. Was it this one? Well, you know what? That's convenient. We're right here, so I guess we might as well. It really works out. Come on, girl, you can do it. Alright. It's actually not even that far. Alright, so what's up, hey dude? There. Master Winter! Over here! Is that a is that a cockatrice? Oh, good you here. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nidus find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Feel that. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Ros Rock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, <laughs> pearl grounds aren't far now. I guess, like, like, I'm the young one, like Geralt, like... Oh no, man. Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. Ah, uh, have you seen me in my prime? Thirty miles a day I did in full dress. Hardcore. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls, and the black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving. <laughs> well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, uh. yeah. <laughs> Customer's always right. God damn it. She's like... So, yeah. Yeah. You could. That'd be cool. Alright. Let's go look for these pearls. Oh. 
Oh boy. Oh, fucking harpies, man. Okay. Let's take that one potion. I forget what it's called. Because I literally only used it once. Killer whale. That makes sense. Alright. Dive in the water longer. That way we can just cruise through. Damn. Useless. Damn. Useless. Damn, useless. I'm sure we could sell him if he doesn't want him. Okay. Damn. <laughs> oh, ah, oh, crap. Man. Alright. There's a lot of them. Yeah, this is crazy. <gasps> Yo, we did it. Hell yeah. Black Pearl. Are there any more? Come back. If they respawn, I'll come back and make tons of money. <laughs> Alright, to the surface. Surface? Oh god. Hell yeah. We did that on one breath, plus the potion. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, oh my god, don't die, stop. Bro, we're not doing this, we're not doing this today. Alright. Alright, let's go. Don't worry, everything's fine. Yep. Speaking of pores. Andrew Pearl. Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after sodden, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl, just like you wanted. Perfectly. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be <laughs> fine. Oh, yes, um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Wow. That's wise. Don't try to cheat me. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's, uh... Oh, yeah, about that, uh... I feel foolish, but uh, I didn't bring any coin with me. Uh, I don't want to accuse him of cheating, cheating me. He just—he might have—he might have, but you know, I don't know. Wise, wasn't it? Even the high roads are dangerous now. Not what they once were. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Put soldiers on her. All right, cool. Nice. Okay, so we just uh, just gotta have faith that he'll pay us back. Unlike, well, some of the people actually have paid us back. Pretty much most of the people have actually paid us back that have owed us money. <laughs> so, so actually, not uh, not that bad. Where's the horn go back to? Goes all the way back here. Okay. So let's go... Let's make our way all the way up to the lighthouse and then travel back. This is a far distance either way. Well, at least this way is a straight... Straight shot. And then... And then once we... Oh, man. Cool, we did it. And once we get back there, return the horn, collect our reward, and we'll look at our options for what we can do next. 
This did seem like a uh, bunch of the, the Witcher gear was actually out here in Skellige. So that might be worth, uh, that might be worth running around for. I know we really just upgraded our pants and our sword. But, thinking we need a, I think we need a real, real good overhaul upgrade. <laughs> So. Aid our ways, Drifter. Uh huh. Cool. Excuse Ooh. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. We got business to take care of. We. T Somebody stole the horn. I'm assuming it's a drinking horn. And, and not like an actual like a like a blowing horn. It could be a blowing horn. Could be either one. Sometimes both, depending. You know. We serve her who is virgin mother and crone. Okay. There he is. What's up, dude? Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? <laughs> Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. Okay, I feel like that was rude. They weren't evil. Stole your horn. That's enough. Damn, 20 bucks? Shit. Well... Let's be real. They attacked us, really. So. Yeah, so, you know, we were just trying to do what we were trying to do. We were attacked. <laughs> so this is the rest of the bear school. Oh, yeah, the inheritance. This is the one. This is the one that uh, we're going to do, too. Let's. Yes, let's do this one. Let's do this one, because we got the letter. I think it was when we were uh, when we killed the uh, the fiends a few episodes ago. Um, we found the letter on a guy that was telling his kid or whatever, whatever, just like whatever, just telling something about something. You ain't from Northgard, I guess. No, it was a letter about leaving everything behind to him in this location. You looking to buy something? Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. So we're gonna go over there and get that inheritance, I guess, for ourselves. Come on, let's do some trading. What do you got? What do you got? Ooh. Yes. What is that? Heroes of Skellige. Sure, I'll take the book. What is this? Another hero. Okay, cool. I'll take them both. Alkahest, always good to have Alkahest on board. Whoa. All right. A max inventory weight. Very good. And a better saddle. What the hell? I can't afford these. I mean, like, I can. Uh, I'm going to buy this. I'm thinking of buying this. It increases our inventory by 30. By 30? It's an investment. <laughs> it's an investment. All right. 50 and 35. I'll put them in the... Probably should just sell them, right? Like, there's no point in keeping them, but... Go ahead and get rid of these. I think that's it. Cool. And another guy for Gwent. So long. Just keeping a note of all the, the Gwent <laughs> individuals.
160. Perfect. And this also means that I can sell him. Could buy something. Well, you're in I can sell the saddle that I just took off. It's only 41, but hey, you know what? It all adds up. So long. Okay, cool. Yep. So that's right. We're going here. We're going over to the signpost. Seeing and we're going to fast travel. On the continent. Bam. <laughs> we're going to go up here. And then we're going to get that inheritance. Oh. Okay. Wait, we do need Devourer blood, so hopefully these guys actually drop some of it. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh, 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 oh. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. Well, I guess I'll pick these up afterwards. Might as well just clear out the place. Come on, get out. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Really? Did you play ah. dead? Gross. Devour's blood, hell yeah. That was a weird thing to say out loud. <laughs> Alright. Because I know there was something we had that needed it. Yes, it was these. Hydra... Hyd... Hydrag... Dragium. Hydragium. Hydraginum. I can't craft that either. Shit. Does it dismantle from something? Or... Damn. Crap. Well, I guess we'll just keep note, you know... So we come across it. <laughs> it's an E Vermillion too, and I don't know. I haven't learned how to get that. Cause so I don't think it's nothing here tells us. Probably. So anyway. <laughs> that's on the list. Has it oh. Oh. Yeah. Blood sword. Well, that sounds badass. What is it? Ah, uh, I mean, actually, 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 that's pretty badass. How damaged is it? Sixty-seven. Okay. Well, no, I guess. If I equip it, then repair it. It's technically, it's literally, it's like literally one point stronger. But the crit hit damage bonus, I'd be losing the bonus experience for monsters and the Ard sign intensity, which I don't even really use Ard that much in combat yet. Um,. Damn. Getting rid of the 20% experience. In exchange for all of this damage. Potential. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. It might be. Oh, well, let's try it out. Let's see where we're at. Let's see how it, let's see how it feels. Chance to bleed. You know, uh, where is it? 
sign intensity, stagger, poison, armor piercing. Do I have a better... I'll do the sign intensity. Chance to stagger, chance to poison. Yeah. Let's just ride it out until we get, uh... Until we get another sword. Because we're going for the gear after this. Wow, these are nice boots. These are nice boots. Probably a pretty good... They resist piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing. Same as those boots. However, they resist more. These boots that I'm currently wearing just give sign intensity and the resistance to monster damage, actually. Probably should just wear those, actually. Go and repair those, and then we'll slap something cool on here. 2% Quen, 5% Ard, 5% Axie, 5% Igni. Quen. Cool. Okay, not not bad. Then this one, resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, burning. Um, yeah, until they're Grandmaster, we don't really get the set bonus, so it really is just the base stats. Resistant to elemental damage. And sign intensity. Uh... In exchange for six armor? No. If it was... If it was something like a lot more? Probably. But for that little amount? Nah. <laughs> nah. Okay. Griffin School upgrades. And the Bear School. Let's get the Bear stuff in general. Where do we gotta go? All the way up there. All the way over here. Oh boy. Then. Interesting. So these were in Novagrand. Cool. Okay. Noted. Cat school upgrades too? See, these are over in Care Morin. I don't even know if we can get to... We probably could, right? Like, it's not like Geralt doesn't know how to get home. But these are the upgrades. Oh, and these are actually at Care Morn. So, okay. Should we go back to Care Morn? Like, should we bounce from Skellige for a bit and go back to Care Morn to get the Wolf School gear? Should we? And is it worth it? Let me know. <laughs> I will we'll bounce over to Care Morn to collect these. But let's let's go on an adventure. Let's do this. Let's do this. Cool. I am I'm down. Now we're looking for the all the diagrams. We have one, which is the sword. Then here, we can't get all the way up here, but we can get pretty close. Which, this is part of the mountain, so we probably, we're probably going to have to leave out. This is a whole mountain range, so we're going to have to actually come up this way regardless. There is no real shortcut for that. Damn, that's a distance. All right. Let me make sure I read that uh, fast travel thing before I forget. The Lonesome World Guide to Unvik. Once prospering, Unvik was the second, after Ardskelling, most frequently visited isle in the archipelago. 
archipelago. <laughs> Among its ample charms are a prime location, picturesque scenery, and a sublime local cuisine. Sadly, the isle was recently devastated when some monstrous frosty giant awoke from his long slumber and began murdering and destroying whatever lay at hand. So it's real? So the frost giant's real? Oh shit. After this occurrence, many realms issued an official edict of warning, cautioning their residents to avoid travel to Unvik. Nevertheless, the isle still attracts many travelers. They are no longer primarily lovers or carefree of carefree relaxation, however. Instead, they're adventure seekers and mercenaries hoping to earn the bounty put on the giant's head. Or, barring that, at least get a glimpse of this fantastic creature with their own eyes. I can understand. I, I, I probably want to see it too. Though this is indeed a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to witness such a sight, we are duty-bound to advise anyone thinking about visiting Unvik to postpone their trip until conditions improve or even better, alter their plans and visit one of Skellige's more many other attractive isles, where the risk is where the risk of being disemboweled by a colossal man beast is significantly lower. Alright. Damn. Wild. Oh, come on. Alright. How is the best way to get up here? Other than just go here and then swing north? Yeah. Guess so. Oh, hey Roach, good good job. You're already here. Now we just gotta travel quite the distance. Well, actually, it's a good chance that we actually came this way. Ah, sorry. Greetings. <laughs> so we go buy the maps. Looking to buy? Yep. Show me your wares. Oh, and I can tell which ones I've already read. Nice. So, like, because I've already read these, I don't even have to buy them again. Thank God. Cool. So long. Closer, stranger. All right. All right, I know it's a lot of these. Da -da 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 -da. Go down here, and there should be side by side. That's convenient. All right. Oh, the Lonesome World got to Onskellig. Onskellig is a weary traveler's paradise. Those seeking respite from the hustle and bustle of urban life need look no further. Those yearning for peace, quiet, and transcendental views. The kind that leave one short of breath and renewed in spirit. Will find satiation on this isle. Here one may enjoy long walks along the most charming beaches in the Isles. On the most charming beaches of the Isles, yeah. Ones whose beauty far outshines that of our decidingly overrated coasts of Kovir. Yet the true jewel of Von Skellig is its port, which is famed for its skilled craftsmen, considered by many to be the best in the Isles. On Skellig's shipbuilders have passed down the secrets of their trade from generation to generation for centuries, perfecting it into something which can proud, which can proudly and with no exaggeration be called an art. Naturally, as a result, one must wait twice as long for a vessel ordered from the local shipwrights than when ordering from lesser workmen. Understandable, it's a big deal. And it's quality. Lastly, it would be a crime to discuss an on Skellig without mentioning the superb and surprisingly sophisticated local cuisine. <laughs> its specialty sturgeon roasted to golden perfection in a sea salt crust and served with carrot shavings and a sprinkle of mint. Sadly, this dish, once a mainstay of every tavern and seaside fish fry, now has become a rarity 
to the overfishing that caused a dramatic decline in the population that most delicious of fish. Damn. That sucks. They overfished. It's, uh, it's rough. Delicious. The Loathsome World Guide to Pharaoh. The most southerly thrusting outcrop of the Skellige Archipelago is the wild and untamed Isle of Faroe. Visiting here is a must for experienced travelers under, undeterred by unexplored wilderness and nature at its reddest in tooth and claw. Oh boy. Which is not to say that Faroe is uninhabited, just that its vibrant primeval landscapes, not its human settlements, constitute its primary attraction. Acting a sole exception to this, and providing a wonderful treat to adventure-seeking travelers, is the port of Harvikin, the home village of Clan de Moon. De Moon? Yeah. With a bit of luck, one might find oneself there when the clan's warriors return from their overseas raids and divide their plunder. A days-long feast is thrown in the warrior's honor afterwards, providing an excellent opportunity to sample local delicacies and observe local customs. For more, in, for more on this, see the Feast and Festivals chapter. Wow, did somebody just, like, tear this apart and started selling page by page for, like, 300 bucks? God damn. <laughs> we going by the tavern later, you know? Get... Dude, so, okay. So with that one, did that mean we got, nice, we got that one, then, where's the other one we got, was it, is it the Marlin Ghost, or did we, hmm. Sorry, I was just like, wait, which fast travel point do we just unlock? Because one was, one was that one. Okay, it was Anskelig Undvik Faroe. Where's Faroe? Hello? Interesting. Okay. Unless this is it. I think this is it, actually. I'm unsure. You so I will not. It's fine. Let's go! We got it, and that's what matters. Oh shit. Whoa there. Can we go this way? No, damn it. Oh. Roach. Crap. Sorry guys. <laughs> uh it's such a it's the wrong way. I meant to be going this way. I mean it's still convenient that we found that so that I could purchase those. But still you know. Still. Please tell me this is the right way. It's not. One more. One more. Should have been the second left. Not the first left. Okay. Until, until Geralt can fly. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Arr! Okay, now Roach. Come on, Roach. Be cool. Be cool. We're going off road. Going off road. <laughs> uh. Man, I gotta say, I'm. I really am vibing with Skellige. It's great. I love it. Some of the some of the patrons are a little hot headed, but you know what? That's okay. You know, sometimes that's the way it goes. But overall. Roach. <laughs> ha! Take that, you boar! You're dead. Ow! Oh, st 
stop it? Why am I always the ball? Because you're a fat. <laughs> Apologize to her, Mikkel, or you'll be the boar, and I'll wield the stick. That's right, you better apologize. That's it, Roach. Jeez. <laughs> Yikes. Same thing each time. Snares sprung. Earth trampled blood, bits of flesh, but no game in sight. Strange. Never heard of anything similar. Oh, I have. On Pharaoh. Turned out an old bear had taught itself to check the traps. Pick and clean. Perhaps we've got ourselves a crafty bugger, too. We'll have to flush him out. Same thing each time. Damn, some Snare things are happening sprung. up here. Earth trampled blood, bits of flesh. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, oh god. Roach, are you okay? Go. Slow now. Rogner? Take it easy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a nice little place. Nice little place that Roach just can't handle right now. <laughs> Alright. Making our way up the mountain. Come on. Now. We have to go that way, huh? No, we go down and we follow the road. Alright, come on, Roach. Let's go. Okay, alright, okay. Alright. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's, let's go. Run, Roach. <laughs> Serpent, I was trying to. Uh, dodge around. Oh my god, Roach. Jesus. You know, you know, maybe maybe it's just safer in in just everything. To just not have Roach be around. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that looks like a ruin where we're gonna find some treasure. Into it. Just, uh, the way they're all talking, like something's going on. Some kind of beast is up here. Hunting everything before they can be. You know. Where the people can get to hunting. Look at this. Guarded treasure. Whoa. What the fuck? Okay, why is that why is that thing so goddamn fast? I had a feeling it's an elementa. So elementa oil. Which we don't have a really strong one, I think. I think we really just have like the basic one, yeah. Alright, so it's cool. It's cool. Oh god, it's gonna be so... Oh, it's gonna hurt. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Never mind, I'm not gonna... Walking on is just causing problems now. Okay. Hello, Geralt. Come on. <laughs> okay. God. Damn. Oh, God. Don't. Don't do this. Okay, thank God. I was like, don't. Damn. Alright, you're gonna die first. This is gonna get that out of the way. 
Okay, sure. It's just phasing right through it. Bitch. Take it to the face for a... <laughs> God. Hell yeah. Look at that. Easy. Of course there's another one. The hell are you? Oh. Oh. God. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. I... That is gonna kill me. I can't. Oh my god. Why did I do that? I I knew it was going to kill me in one hit if I didn't. I don't know why. Why did I do that? Come on, Roach. Damn it. Well, let's try again. I'm stupid. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was too I was too sure. I was like, ah, I could take a hit. I could take one hit. I shouldn't have. <clears throat> I shouldn't have. Because what I thought was, I'll take one hit because I'm going to kill it. And in my arrogance, I failed. And rightly so. Rightly so. All right. Let's go and... What is this? Uh, this is all that, and it increases damage dealt and decreases taken against wraiths, but that's... Each blow landed increases attack power. It's probably going to put my toxicity way too high. Um, I think I think where we're at should be fine. <laughs> How long does this last? Sixty seconds. Yeah. All right, we're good. Let's go. All right, let's beat ass. Gargoyle motherfuckers. God, it's like... It's like some of them just don't connect. Why? It's like, oh my god, what is the point? Oh, is it because it's it's animation locked? So I gotta fucking it has like damn. it has iframes. God damn. That makes sense. Oh shit. Bruh, can we not? That'd be super cool. We could just, like, not do that. Ah, uh, crap. My toxicity is absolutely killing me. It's because I drank that damn potion. Healing. I shouldn't have done that because I was too juiced up from my decoctions. Uh... 
Uh, okay, yeah, the smart thing to do probably would be to meditate. Then, come back into this. And we're going to go throw that on there. That's there. We're going to go ahead and pop this one. Uh, sign intensity, no. No. It was one of these. Yeah, catechin. That's right. <laughs> okay, and then it's dimeridian bombs against these guys, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Do I have... Yes, I have the enhanced ones, thank god. Cool. Alright. Alright. Let's fucking go. Show me what you got. Yeah, can we... Come on, Geralt. Now I'm in the cloud. Shit. Still affected. Crap. Uh. Oh, you bitch. Stop. Stop it right now. Why is this so hard? Well, it's because it's fucking gargoyles, that's why. And then I was dumb enough to afflict myself in my own dimeridian dust. Now I'm full. Good crossbow bolts? Yeah, I do. Oh, this doesn't do shit for damage. Alright, but good enough. I just gotta hit him once. Oh. Thank god. It's literally just like... Like one. There's no way I'm gonna. Damn, this couldn't have gone. This couldn't have gone worse. It's not awful. However, could be better. I right, gotta put that on. This one. This one. That way. It's because it's still in the air. Let's 
Is it? Is it pulling me out? Like, I don't understand. It seems like it's not working. However, it seemed like there it did because I wasn't taking any damage from that. I took damage from that though. What the hell? <laughs> it's not. I'm. I'm not even mad at the game. I'm not even mad. I'm just like confused. I think. I'm hoping that was like just bugging out because that seemed really weird, right? Was it supposed to do that? I don't know. It all seemed pretty whack. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and... Okay, that seemed like how it's supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, go and put this on. And take that. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's doing the thing. We just gotta. We just gotta fight. Now. Um. Switch out the bombs. However. Do I have just one that just like Yeah, just explode. <laughs> uh That's a nice one. Let's try that. Let's see if it does anything actually. Jeez. I didn't do a damn thing. I am so confused. Why was that easier? Come on. Okay. I was, I was just like, no, nah, I'm taking it right to, taking it right to him. Like, fuck that. <sighs> I want, I will kill this thing. I know we can do it. I know we can do it. If we just keep Quen going fine. Take any unnecessary risks. Uh. Okay. Ah. Come on. Go, 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 go. Get distance. Oh, come on, Ice Elemental, level 30. Oh, no, 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 don't do anything. God. Whew, come on. Ugly bastard. Oh, ho, 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 ho. come on. Let's get Dark Souls boss. 
One hit and I'm dead. Ah. I know it's like I don't have to, but like, I'm kind of just proving a point now. I've gotten too involved. mistakes now. Investigate. <laughs> Is it right here? God damn it. Nice. A greater runestone, a glyph vigny. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Armor and gloves. However, that's not why we're here. If it works out. We'll take it. But it's not why we're here. Because we're here for something even greater. Arrest warrant for the Witcher Gird. Okay, hold on. Rest warrant. Let it hereby be known that the Witcher known as Gerd has committed foul crimes against the Ducal Terra. Oh yeah, we heard, we read this already. Yeah, because the Witcher seemed pretty cool. He helped out. Ursine Silver Sword. Yes. The Knight, Calamir's letter. Yeah. Your most honored grace, the Duchess Arxi. Or Arxia. Eligible fragment. The Witcher Gird feared your grace wrath, feared your grace rice just fury. So off he fled to Skellige, to that hive of pirates, thieves, and other such bandits. In sooth, the gods must have smiled on our quest, for quickly we did catch his foul scent and track him to a public house near the village of Fearsdal. Fearsdal, oh shit. Where he was banqueting with the locals. Yeah, we, okay. Some sought to protect him, treating the traitorous man as a companion in arms. We therefore showed them no mercy and burned the inn to the ground. Oh, shit. That's fucked. Alas and alack, the Witcher escaped us once again, but we tracked him to the ruins of the old fortress near Etnir, where he went to hide, or else perchance lay in wait by some monster. We made haste to assault his position with all our strength, but still the treacherous foe slew five of my men, wounded me most severely, and brought the ruins roof collapsing down on us with some witchcraft. Never fear, we shall surely free ourselves from here soon. Meanwhile, I have ordered the Vile Witcher's campsite searched and have found a diagram for some highly curious weapon. It is enclosed with, his, with this writing, entrusted to your grace's safekeeping. Another day, perhaps too, we shall dig ourselves out of this rubble and catch the Witcher. If fate is kind, perhaps I shall send your grace not a missive, but the Witcher's scalp. Jesus. Yet it must be said that from the very start he slighted your grace with his most rude and brusque manners, though it is beyond the reasoning of a simple knight such as I to comprehend how a base worm like that could dare refuse your duchessness anything. Why, serving your most graciousness is an honor, and anyone who shuns such service reveals himself as a simpleton and a knave. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Sure, dude. Thank all the heavens. The gods watch over your graceful being. And merciless usurper, that twisted wretch who deemed himself your father, could be ripped off his stolen throne without the need for that mutant's help. Yet it is a witcher's swiving employ, your grace, if you will pardon my temerian. To kill monsters 
and your good grace's father, why, what was he if not a beast, a murderous monster lapping of the blood of innocence? And since he was sh such a monster, though draped in human skin, revealing his monstrous form only through deeds and not demeanor, the Witcher ought to have killed him, as your grace asked of him. Therefore, it is just that said freak shall pay with his neck for violating the dictates of honor and Witcher law alike. Your grace's humble servant, Kalmir of Black Friedland of the Brant Banner. Bro, she does not love you. Stop. No. You're not, it, it's not gonna work. Just don't do it. Svorlog, yeah, woo! Alright, cool. Get the hell off this mountain. God, we've been up here for so long. Alright, for real. We're continuing this on the next episode. We're gonna go get the rest of this bear school gear. And, uh... Then... Well, bear school gears... At least the next part of it's gonna be up on Svorlog. So, we're gonna start there. We're gonna pick up. So thank you everybody so much for watching. You know, in the comments, what you thought. Uh, I know I killed the Ice Elemental. I know we didn't really get any experience from it because it was too high level. But, like, it it killed Move me, it. so I kind of needed to regain the honor and fight back. So, you know, that's why we did what we did. So, for real. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>